Swami G here. And uh, what's going on tonight? A lot of people for I'm getting notices on Facebook that my Mars retrograde post. Everybody's happy that Mars retrograde is ending. And when I looked at it, it was posted two hours ago, which is interesting because I did not post it. And it was posted back in June when, when Mars ended retrograde. When we start to get crazy things in our life, miscommunications, technology, making mistakes, we can start to ask the question, is that Mercury retrograding? And sure enough, uh, the 19th, which is about a week from now, Mercury will go retrograde. And this is just an example, a real life, real world, real time example of how Mercury retrograde is experienced even before Mercury retrograde happened. And even the last two, three, four days, my internet connection was really, really screwy. And I've noticed uh, recently in the last few years that the Mercury retrograde effects, are much, I'm noticing them much more prior to the retrograde, not as much during the retrograde. It's as if things are worked out in advance. Uh, one thing would be, for example, anything retrograde, RE, anything that starts RE relates to Mercury retrograde. So refurnishing, re relaxing, rejuvenation, this is the things to do in Mercury retrograde. It's sort of a timeout, it's a pit stop. And I have a lot of new people uh, following me on Facebook. And I've said this before, but I think it's good to say it again for new folks and also as a good refresher course. Mercury retrograde has gotten a pretty bad rap over the years. Oh no, Mercury retrograde. And uh, it's like saying, oh my God, I got to take a rest. I got to go to sleep. It's just, it's it's a relaxation, an RE. It's, it's a time out. Uh, we can't always be going forward in our lives. We need to stop. We need to reflect. We need to assess. We need to repair. It's a good time to, to do things around the house. And you may find, at least I've found, that just around Mercury retrograde, something needs repaired at the house. Whether you know, last night I had to unclog the sink. In the past, I've had to work on the roof. It's just, it's uncanny how these things happen. Almost always leading up to or in Mercury retrograde and almost never after in between the retrogrades. So what does that mean? Well, for me, it's a great time to just slow down. As soon as my computer starts acting up, I say, okay, it's time to change my patterns. Time to do something else. Usually I start to play music more during retrograde. And I've just had a lot of conversations with a number of musicians just in the last few weeks. I've been re, um, reviewing, I've just listened to my very first double CD album, which was, I released that back around 2009, somewhere in there. And I've uh, listened to parts of my second double CD album. And I even once wrote, I even wrote a song called Mercury Retrograde. And uh, maybe I'll sing that for you someday. As long as you understand that I don't always sing in key, but I always sing in joy. So I might sing that for you with a little coaxing and understanding um, that it might not hit every note properly. So the, the point is that Mercury retrograde is nothing to be feared. It's a time, like everything else, we go with the flow. What is the predominant energy? If it's to slow down, to rest, uh, certainly uh, things are there. Don't sign contracts, don't buy um, the technology, um, because those things tend to go haywire after you get them. If you buy stocks, oftentimes they also um, go tank, they go the other direction of whatever you're, you're hoping for after Mercury retrograde. 
so some people will, I mean, a lawyer signs contracts every day. That's something different, but for, for the average person and, um, it, it's worthy of at least testing it out. I certainly believe in testing these things. There was a time I didn't believe in any of this until these things started happening more and more frequently, such as this Mars retrograde post being posted about two hours ago. And, um, the other thing I wanted to say specifically about this Mercury retrograde is because it's about electronics, excuse me, because it's about electronics and holiday time is coming, people are going to most likely buy some sort of technology for others. It's a good idea to buy it this week because we already see it's starting to, uh, the technology is going a little haywire. And uh, if we wait till after the 19th to buy, more likely those te technologies are going to need to be returned or exchanged. And, um, but I wouldn't panic, you know, it's not the, it's not the end of the world. If you can't go shopping now and you go shopping on the 21st and it goes haywire, what do you do? You, you return it. So, you know, there's nothing to be feared about. That's really the, the key. See the best in every situation. And particularly in a Mercury retrograde, it's a time to relax. It's a time to rejuvenate, um, rekindle, rekindle the, the fires, the heart fires, uh, the um, romantic flames of the heart. Whatever is just the opposite of whatever you're predominantly doing in your life, you'll probably find it very easy to do the opposite. And suffering and struggling really only comes when we resist because when we resist, we're resisting because we think it's not supposed to be that way. But if we go with the flow and we stop judging it and allowing it to happen, the Mercury retrograde can be a lot better. It can still happen that we feel uh, tension or tense because we still have to learn some lessons sometimes. I'm putting on my glasses because I see things are, I'm getting little notes here. Oh, I see. It's from Facebook. They're telling me to keep talking um, because they're telling my friends to join me on video. Well, I don't have too much more to say. They're spreading the word that you're live. This may take a minute. Well, I'm pretty much done. So sorry, Facebook. I'm a, I'm a three minute talker. And uh, so to recap, Mercury retrograde, the effects can be felt now. It's not the end of the world. It's, a, it's when something is, when there's a block, instead of beating our head against the wall, be like the water and just go around it. Do something else. Go with the flow. So I hope that helps you. Mercury retrograde will be from February 19th, uh, from December 19th to January 5th. I think it's the 5th. And uh, have fun with it. Joy, joy, joy. Oh, I see. Before I get taken off, Kathleen Marie. Hey, thanks for joining. Um, I've never had anybody join before. Or if I have, I didn't have my glasses on to see it. So I've just finished talking about Mercury retrograde. The value of Mercury retrograde, not the horror of it. I think that's old school thinking. It's a, it's a, anytime we uh, are led to be afraid of anything, really, it's just a way to undermine ourselves and think, oh, no, that's coming and I can't do anything about it. We can virtually almost always do something about it. And the few times we can't, then we face it, we go through it, and we meet our grace at the other end of that experience. So even the worst case scenarios give us some amazing divine growth every time we break spirit enters that much more so that's a little bit extra for kathleen and a little extra for everybody else so have a great night stay warm and cozy i'm by the by the wood stove here uh, where's my wood stove it's somewhere over there. There it is. It's under my piano.
Okay, friends, have a joyous, joyous night. Joy, joy, joy.